Hello everyone. The cases regarding money laundering are increasing day by day in Pakistan, which is why as a practicing lawyer, you would receive so many calls from people asking if you could file their bail application for the offenses regarding money laundering. So I'm going to explain it to you that how can you file bail application for cases regarding money laundering. But before we do that, please like my channel, subscribe it and press the bell icon. The offenses regarding money laundering are dealt under the act of Anti-Money Laundering Act 2010. So if you are charged for any of the sections related to this act, the FIA is going to proceed against you. They are going to find evidence and then they will file and register an FIR, the first information report against you. So now you have certain options to deal with this FIR. If you are not being arrested, then you have all the right to file the application for bail, which is pre-arrest bail. And if you are being arrested, then you can file, an, file a bail application, which is after arrest. And if you want to have a protective bail, that is for a reason, so then you can join yourself in the investigation and no one is going to arrest you. So these are the three type of bails that you can apply. The bail application is being dealt under 498 and 497 of CRPC. If you are filing your bail application for the offense regarding money laundering, then the first court would be session court. And when you are filing your bail application, always remember that there is a set standard of a bail application and there is a set format. So you can always file your bail application following that set standards. When you come to the ground, you will have to understand that there are grounds provided in law. So it is preferable that you always write that grounds. Those grounds are very generic and you always have to put those grounds in your bail application. Generally, those are five grounds. At the stage of bail application, most of the judges, they only deal with the bail application as a tentative report. They don't go into the details of the evidence or any documentary evidences, which is why it is advisable that you always write the strict grounds which are to be given in the bail application. Always remember that when you are going for bail and when you are going to argue that, you have to create doubts. You have to tell the judge that there are some discrepancies in the in the FIR or there are some discrepancies in the story of the narrator which is why there are doubts that this FIR is on the verified intention. On these basis, you would request the honorable judge to grant bail to your client. I would like to share my own experience that how can you create doubts while arguments. Just three days ago, I filed an application for bail before the session judge for money laundering case and the claim was worth 40 crore. So the main doubt that I created was that in that FIR, the FIA gave for the name of the four businesses and they alleged that the accused have transferred 40 crores from those four accounts. Whereas when I spoke to my client, he told me that he does not own those businesses and he owned the business with another name. So I got all the FBI, FBI record. I got all the registration document and then I went to the court and then, then I tried to explain it to the honorable judge that we are not running these business and the business that we are running it is legal. It's registered business and we have already paid all the tax returns at the end of the year to, to the government, which is why we are being falsely implanted in this case. So he understood it and he granted bail to, to my client. So when you go to the court for such matters, always remember that the bail application is always standard. You have to find case laws precedent on the certain section of money laundering act. If you would like to convince to the honorable judge, you have to create doubts. 
you have to find precedents and then you have to argue the case on the basis of the facts and the discrepancies in the FIR. These are the connected reasons that how can you get your bail. So if you are preparing for your bail application for money laundering cases, I'll just give a very quick review. You need to have a, a very standard bail application. You need to have research on the certain section which are being written in the FIR. You need to find precedent on that. You have to have command on your facts. You have to find discrepancies from the FIR. And when you go to the court for arguments, Remember all of these points because these are going to help you to get bail for your client. So good luck and if you have any problem drafting the bail application or any matter related to money laundering or foreign exchange act, you can always ask me in the comment section and I will always try to help you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another vlog. Take care. Bye bye.